Hi guys, very good morning. Today we are going to upload another very important test tool for Chadderton Test Center. Although I uploaded one video for this site test, and test route, but this test route is very much in nowadays and it's a little bit changed. So I'm going to explain you everything. So just pretend you are coming out of the test center and turn right as you're going on to Broadway. So we turn right outside the test center, turn right onto Broadgate and going straight ahead on the roundabout and turning right on to Broadway. So bear in mind when you're going straight on to this roundabout, second exit and turning right at the broad at the Broadway, better to keep your car right hand lane. So we are entering onto the right hand lane, although we're taking second exit, but end up on the right lane. So check mirror signal again here and end up on the right lane. I hope you understand. If you don't, you can rewind the video and watch this bit again. So at the lights, we are going to turn right. So both lane going right. So we'll keep our car left hand lane. I will explain you how you're going to turn right from this left hand lane. While turning right from here, so many learners, they fail their test. I will explain you why. Because this two lane going right, and when you're turning right, there will be a five lane on to Broadway. Two right lane are going back onto M60. Two middle lane are going straight as you're going towards Manchester city center. And far left lane is going Oldham South. So I will explain you how you can do this turning. So keep looking on the road as well because I will show you a few reference points so you can bear in mind. While turning right, there is a much chances for you to go closer to the traffic on your right hand side. That is why so many learners they fail. Look on the road, when I'm turning right here, you can see there's a big white arrow. Look on the road, yes. So catch this big white arrow from the bottom. If you don't understand, you can rewind and watch again. While turning right, you need to be very careful. And when you're stopping car behind any car in front, you must need to see the tire on the tarmac. You may not be able to see in my video because my camera is quite focused on the road. When you are driving behind any car and stopping behind any vehicle in front, you need to stop where you can see tires and the tarmac. Don't go too close. We are on a Broadway at the moment, which is 40 miles per hour. I can see there's obstruction right in front of me, so I will switch my lane. So when I check center in the right mirror, there's nobody on my right hand side. I will move over to the right hand lane. As soon as I overtake this, I will check mirrors, signal left and come back to left lane again. still on a Broadway and taking left. So we are turning left onto Moston Lane East, which is 30 miles for this 100 yards and after that this will be 20 miles. Clearly written on your right hand side the school signs and there is 20 written on the road as well. There are speed humps as well. So you can't miss. So bear in mind, you need to be 20 miles. So your reflexes may be quite high because you were driving 40 miles and at once you come on to 20 miles. So there is a chance for you to drive fast. So better not to drive fast. Go nice and steady. As soon as you turn left from Broadway onto New, onto Moston Lane East, you need to be nice and slow, like 20-ish. You can see this board on your left hand side, school zone end. Beyond this point is 30 miles, so you are right to speed up. So I will not recommend you to drive exactly 30 miles here because of the you know, situation of the road. There are so many parked cars on both sides. So keep going like 25, 26, 27 miles. 
and after this one stop shop you are taking second right so this is the first one and we taking next right after this pharmacy turn nice and slow because both side car will be parked here so you need to be very nice and slow when you're coming on to Westwood Avenue we are on a Westwood Avenue so don't need to go more than seven eight miles even because the condition of the road and we are turning left We are on a Western Avenue, that is where you need to come for parallel parking. I'm turning right onto Nuthurst Road again. So this is very close junction, so you need to do peep and creep here. So look right first, look left, look right, we can't see anything, we'll keep edging forward until our view is clear. So I can't see anything because of the big van on my right hand side, so just keep doing little bit creeping forward if you don't know what is peep and creep you can watch one of my tutorial video I have explained how to do peep and creep on closed junctions and we are back on to Nuthurst Road you can see there's a park on your right hand side most probably you are doing maneuver here so you're gonna pull up on the right so checking mirrors signal right go to the right hand side and pull up nicely absolutely straight 90 degree next to the curb cancel indicator neutral the car handbrake up then we're gonna reverse two cars and rejoin the road so we make sure nobody coming right in front of us nobody coming behind and there is nobody on the footpath as well so we're gonna do reverse gear on I'm gonna have a very good look all 360 check there's nobody on my right hand side as well so I'm gonna reverse two cars if anybody coming close to you better to stop so you can make about four meter bubble around you if anybody coming in that bubble better to stop as I can see this car coming in front of me so I'm not doing anything I stopped here so I'm gonna check all around again so I'm gonna done one more car because I already done one cars so bear in mind while reversing don't look side mirrors only you need to look behind as well so we are going to rejoin the road we're going to check in center in the left mirror so let me have a 360 check from right hand side again this time we are check, doing 360 check right hand side because we pulled up on the right so I can see nobody coming both sides so I'm alright to rejoin the road the how you're gonna regen the road if you don't know how to pull up on the right reverse two cars and regen the road you can watch one of my tutorial video in which I have explained how to do that so we are on a Nuthurst road which is 30 miles and turning left at the lights on to Broadway which is 30 miles per hour same again we're gonna stop behind this taxi where we can see tires and the tarmac never stop too close to the car in front so you can see clearly 40 miles is written at the lights so we are turning left on to Broadway I can see driver in front is going too slow so we are all right to overtake but this is 40 miles per hour and we are overtaking this slow vehicle so I can see him in the center in the left mirror so now I can come back to left and lane by checking center in the left mirror signal left and come back I hope you understand how to overtake that if you don't know you can rewind the video and watch again so we are on a Broadway which is 40 miles per hour
traffic lights we are going to turn right on to Manchester Road so when we are turning right as we follow in sign from Manchester we don't need signal here bear in mind one lane is going left as you're going A62 Oldham one going right as you're going towards Manchester you can see there are three lanes so you keep in middle lane and turn right you don't need signal here so we are just turning right at this point and then taking next left why we are not signaling right here because this is just follow the road to the right if I'm going to signal right here driver my right hand side they may think I need to come to the right hand side so that can be a little bit misleading so we'll not signal here as we're turning right from Broadway onto Manchester Road on to Oldham Road my apology this is Oldham Road as you're going towards on towards Manchester City Centre As soon as we are turning right here onto Oldham Road, we're gonna go next left as we're going towards Morrison. Now we check mirrors, signal left, and we are turning left onto Popular Street. Bear in mind this Popular Street is 20 miles per hour, and there are gonna be too many park cars, so there can be issue if you are forcing oncoming traffic or you're gonna go too close to the park vehicle. So better to go nice and easy. 12 to 15 miles should be all right here. No need to drive fast. We just gone past Morrison supermarket. If you're coming here for practice, definitely go into that car park for day parking. At the roundabout, at the mini roundabout, we are turning left. So signal again, check center on the left mirror before signaling. So I can see right hand side nobody coming, so we don't need to stop. We are on a props. We are on a props hall drive, which is 20 miles. It used to be 30 miles. If you see my old videos and old test routes, at that time it, this used to be 30 miles, but now this is 20 miles. This is all road is 20 miles. So going straight again onto the, you know, follow the road ahead on this roundabout. don't see speed on navigation because navigation will show you 30 miles but this is 20 miles so at the end of this road at the end of this props hall drive we're gonna turn right you need to be very careful on this particular test road because this can be very much possible at 8 20 and there will be too many school children and this zebra crossing can be very busy so you need to be very careful when dealing with these pedestrian crossings so turn right look right look left look right again nobody then you proceed We are on a Clive Road at the moment, same again, keep going like nicely 15-20 miles because we still got school on our right hand side. And at the end we are turning left onto Ashton Road West which is 30 miles per hour so quite wide junction quite open junction you can clearly see right hand side if nobody coming no need to stop if you don't know what is open and closed junction you can watch one of my tutorial videos 
I have explained open and closed junctions. We are on Ashton Road West at the moment, going towards Tesco and we will turn left at the Tesco. There is a park on your left hand side at this point, you can pull up here and move off again. At the roundabout, we are turning left. From Ashton Road onto Lord's Lane. Bear in mind when you're turning left onto Lord's Lane, Lord's Lane is also 20 miles per hour. If you can see speed humps on the road. If there are speed coming my ears, you will never drive fast. So speed hump is also one of the speed coming my ears. There's another roundabout coming. We're going to go straight ahead on this roundabout. And bear in mind, you can easily fail your test if you go over the roundabout. Always go around. I'll show you how. So we can see roundabout in the middle of the road. So because this is like a plate on the road, so you need to go around, don't go over like this. If junction is tight, you can go a little bit on it, but don't go exactly fully on it. At the lights, we are turning right. And when we are turning right, it will be 30 miles again. So bear in mind when you're turning right here, end up always in left hand lane because we're going left at these lights. This can be very tricky, so better to rewind video and watch this bit. When you are turning right from this Domino Pisa onto Oldham Road, because at the next slide you are turning left, so you need to keep left hand lane, end up in a left hand lane. So when we turn right here, left again here, so we're going to take this regular left, there is another sharp left there, so we're not going there. We are coming onto old road. So we are turning left at the roundabout here. We are turning left onto Hardman Lane. This is following the road to the right. So go very nice and easy from this pub where brick clear arms. You need to go very nice and slow. No need to drive fast on this hard lane. So we are back on Moston Lane East. We got the priority here, but if oncoming traffic is trying to bully you, you are right to stop. Otherwise, you will not stop. This bend is 20 miles only, so don't drive fast. Take it like 18, 19 miles here. And after this, this is 30 miles. So you're right to carry on 30 miles. So there are few speed variation on this test route. Better to watch two, three times. And have a very good practice on this test route. There are not much complications on this test route. You should be alright if you come two or three times. So this is still 30 miles. We are on a mostal in east which is 30 miles at the moment. And we will see there is a school coming on your left hand side from school till traffic light because there are speed coming my yes speed humps and school on your left hand side you need to be nice and steady so better to drop the second gear and go nice and easy like 18 20 miles no need to 
brake on these speed humps if you are driving like 20 miles so you don't need to slow down for these speed humps they are all right so we can see about 50 yards from here school zone ends so we are right to carry on again 30 miles and but turning right onto broadway which is 40 miles Same again when you're turning right, keep your car near center white line. If you're keeping your car near center white line, then what is the advantage for other road users? They can overtake you from your left hand side. In case if they're going straight, they can go straight by overtaking you your left hand side. But if you're not taking your position, you're obstructing everybody behind you. So that can be a serious fault in your test. That is why I always say when you're going right, better to take use proper MSPSL routine so you can keep your car near center white line. We are on a Broadway again again which is 40 miles. Test center is about nearly one mile from this point. This test route was about just over six and a half miles radius. We have done five miles just over five miles exactly one more miles to go before we finish this video. Broadway at the moment which is 40 miles per hour and you can see there is a board on your left hand side on the road you can see there will be 30 written that 30 is for the service road not for this road if you are driving 40 miles and you just drop your speed quickly 30 because of this sign then it will be dangerous for driver behind you need to be very careful We are still on Broadway and gonna go left after the second lines as we're going on to Broadgate which is just before Costco. not signal here, we signal after these traffic lights. So I can see traffic moving in front, so we are alright to carry on. And turning left onto broad gate as we are following sign for Oldham Broadway Business Park keep going nice and steady no need to rush because there's a roundabout coming we're going straight ahead first exit so you need to be very careful when you're going straight ahead on this roundabout taking first exit because there is no entry on your left hand side so don't think that is the exit so that is for oncoming traffic from motorway so you are taking first exit after passing this no entry check left mirrors signal left and come down left. so same again you can go into the test center which is about 100 miles from 100 meter from here and if there's any question regarding this test route or this video you can leave me feedback I will definitely answer your question thank you very much